Tony, the stage is yours. Well, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Medium's first ever pub crawl event. Uh, as Adrian said, I am Tony Stubblebein and I'm the CEO here at Medium. And also, as Adrian said, the purpose of today is to connect writers to publications. The vast majority of what I'm going to talk about to you, talk about today is aimed at answering a question for writers, why should you work with Medium publications? And thematically, the answer is going to circle around one answer. Publications help you find readers. There are a thousand places you could publish online, but the reason to come to Medium is because we have built a system led by Medium publications that helps you find readers. So as I talk today, I hope you can be open to thinking about the difference between Medium bringing you lots of readers and Medium bringing you the right readers. Publications are actually doing both of those things. They are a force that helps stories go viral, and they are the connecting glue between your writers or your writing and the readers who most want to read it. I'm going to start with a story about how Medium connects readers to writers. I've put on screen a post from a writer, Savan Herman. Her post is about a decision point that a lot of people reach in their career. Should you become a manager or not? I'm using this post as an example because it's great, but also because it got a lot of readers. There's been 41,000 total so far. And I want to tell you the backstory of where those views came from. Savan is a leadership coach who has worked at Google and has an MBA from Columbia. So she's writing from a place of both experience and expertise. And in the past, she has written for several different publications on Medium, but recently has been submitting a lot of her pieces to um, a publication called Code Like a Girl. This is a great publication that's been active on Medium for a long time. The editor for this publication is Dinah Davis, and just so that we're all clear, this is Dinah's publication. She doesn't work for Medium. Rather, she's part of the community, just like the writers and readers are. Dinah is also one of the subject matter experts who nominate for Medium's Boost program. A lot of you know what that is already. The Boost is for bringing readers to the best of the best of Medium. It's one of, but not the only way that Medium brings readers to writers. So we rely on Dinah as one of the nominators in the Boost program because she knows a lot about her subject. That comes both because of experience as a practitioner and because of experience as a longtime publisher here on Medium. So when Dinah read Savan's post, she thought it met the, the bar for being boosted. And I'm going to show you a part of the Boost program that most people have never seen. Almost no one outside of Medium has seen it. The point of the boost is to help make Medium a place where substance is more important than attention. As a result, we put a lot of thought into getting every boost decision right. The part that most of you have never seen is that when something is nominated for a boost, that nomination includes a note about the nominator's thought process. The note explains why a piece is meaningful, why it's important, why it's helpful to the reader. And this is an important internal artifact about how thoughtful medium recommendations are and how they actually work. So here's how Dinah described the importance of this piece when she nominated it. She said, this article is a fantastic look at figuring out if you should move from individual contributor to management. Most people assume that management is the right career step, but in many cases it isn't. And I love this author gives a set of questions to ask yourself in order to figure out if it really is for you or not. So that's Dinah making the case for why this is an important story for people to read. And uh, our curators agreed after submitting that nomination, the story was boosted. So the readers for the story, they don't come out of nowhere. Rather, they come as a result of the curation and care of a publication editor. The story had zero views when Dinah first curated it. Now it has 41,000. There's a lot that Medium does differently. And that's because we take our mission seriously. 
Real stories deepen people's understanding of the world. The key words in our mission are deepen understanding. And in order to achieve this mission, we have to encourage you to share true, authentic experiences and expertise. Every one of you has a story to tell, many of them, in fact. And then we at Medium need to build a system that connects your experience and expertise to a reader that needs to hear it. When our system works, your life experiences transfer to the reader and the world is smarter and wiser as a result. This is what I would call a worthy goal. This is why we come to work. And that system we've built is a system of humans working together. There are writers and readers, and today we're shining a light on publication editors. Doing this right takes all of us. And what's special about Medium in this moment in history is that our system puts humans and substance first. When you build your system around machines, people end up writing for the machines. When you build your system around humans, people write for humans. Medium is a place for humans. And right now that means we're an antidote to all the AI content that's flooding the internet. Humans spot it instantly and we're doing everything possible to reject it so that Medium can remain a place for your human stories. It's also within our mission, a core part of our mission is to be an antidote to the clickbait and cheap content of the attention economy. When we're judging an article, we don't claim victory when someone merely clicks on your story. We claim victory when someone reads deeply and their understanding of the world changes for the better. This mission requires a massive effort. Every month, Medium recommends your story 8 billion times. We do that through email, through the For You feed, through Read More sections, through our list feature. The Boost is an important vehicle for recommendations, but it's not the only one. We definitely aren't boost or bust. Out of all of those recommendations, 45% of what people read was published in a publication like the ones we're talking about today. Publications are the curators here. They aren't promoters per se, they're curators. And we've built a recommendation system that trusts their curation. This massive scale of recommendations is backed by a lot of human effort. In the same way that you write with passion, publication editors curate with passion. They're constantly looking to find the right story for their readers. So last month, 9,000 publication editors were active on Medium. These people edited across 4,500 publications and their work helped 82,000 stories find the right readers. So you're not going to meet all 9,000 editors today, but there are more than 100 here at the event that you could meet. And I hope that, that today inspires you to find one or more publications to write for. There are publications for all sorts of writers, and so I'm going to start with the type we've all been, new writers. Um, there are many publications on Medium that specialize in welcoming new writers and helping them get started. And one of those publications uh, has, I think you'll agree, that the perfect name. It's called New Writers Welcome. Robin Wilding is one of the many editors for this very, very aptly named publication. And here's how she described their purpose. She says, the pub was created as a soft place to land for new writers. When people begin on Medium, they can feel a little lost. And some of the top-notch publications on this platform may feel intimidating to newbies. This word intimidating stood out to me. Yes, sometimes writing is hard. It can be competitive. It can require weeks of research and revision. But sometimes you just want to write, to get an idea out of your head, or to exercise your writing muscle. This is what's so great about blogging. Sometimes you just write to write. So the good news is that wherever you are in your writing journey, there are publications on Medium that want to hear from you. And that's true even if you are a brand new writer. Most writers though look for publications that have a focus that matches the experience or expertise that they are writing about. So if you are a geologist writing about geology, then find a geology publication. And here's how Eric Pierce, who is the fantastic editor of the very fantastic Fanfare publication views it. A great publication is a signal. It says, this is the good stuff. And he's found tons of amazing writers simply because they publish at a publication that he likes. 
As you look for a publication, I want to make the case for finding small focused publications to write for. You might think the biggest publications deliver the most readers, but this is not actually true. Our recommendation algorithms factor in affinity as much as they do number of followers. So a small publication with a loyal readership is often going to deliver as many readers as the largest publications here. And for you as a writer, affinity is what you are after anyways. 1,000 anonymous readers aren't worth nearly as much as a comment from one reader telling you that your writing changed their life. This, this is the thing that I asked you to be open about at the beginning. Medium can bring you lots of readers, but also Medium wants to bring you the right readers. And most of the time, the right readers are what's most important to you. This is especially true for a category of writers who are very active on Medium. This category writes to advance their career. So it could be coaches, it could be consultants, it could be all sorts of professionals. And if you're writing about your professional experience, then the most valuable thing Medium can do is bring you the right reader, the type of reader who's going to hire you for a consulting contract or hire you for a job. So whatever you may have heard about the creator economy as a way to grind out a living, I assure you that other writers are having more fun and making more money, money by writing for the expert economy. The writers actually who make the most on Medium are using writing to build and demonstrate expertise. It's not even close. I have seen people land multiple half million dollar co uh, consulting contracts. I've seen them go from unknown personal trainer to trainer of the Hollywood stars. I've seen them land VP level jobs. One time I saw a writer here get promoted to CEO. Um, so I want you to trust that Medium is a place where you can write what is authentic to you. We are home to so many different interests. Um, let's face it, Medium readers are curious and they're multidimensional. Last month, publications published stories across 33,000 different topics. That's how broadly interesting and broadly curious our community is. And if you've wondered about the boost, then yes, we've also boosted across 28,000 of those topics, which says that we are confident that there are readers for all of them. And that means as a writer that you should feel confident writing about what you wanna write about, what you know about, what is important to you, and do that rather than wondering what is popular. Be yourself, your writing is going to be better for it. <clears throat> Most publications give some form of guidance and suggestions, and so, Look, I'm a writer. I know the writer ego. Sometimes we don't want guidance and suggestions. But when we do, when we want to level up as a writer, publication editors help. Even just the act of accepting or rejecting your submission to their publication, that's a helpful signal about what level of writing you should shoot for. Editors, editors also give their guidance in their style guide. Those style guides almost always capture important lessons about what sort of writing will connect with readers. And many publication editors give their guidance directly after reading your pieces. A writer, Brent Stockwell, uh, told us um, that getting feedback from his editor was probably the most important thing he's gotten from writing on Medium. And it was simple stuff. It was tips uh, to take into account readers who maybe aren't ready to read the whole thing. And in that case, put the interesting stuff up front, give a short summary of the main findings near the top of the story. This is what the editor Brent was talking to had learned through experience. And so to give credit, the editor that we're talking about here is Rob Britt from Wise and Well. And the reason editors like Rob give advice like this is because they see what is working and what isn't working for so many different writers. Like their experience is worth leaning on. And it's a big part of how you can level up as a writer here. And, and that level up is yet another way that editors and writers work together to reach readers. Last, I wanna talk about our boost program, which I mentioned at the beginning. Um, we introduced this program last year as a way to add human expertise as a signal in our recommendation algorithm. We're the only platform that does this, and that's because of our mission. 
everything about us believes that substance is more important than attention. And since we've launched the boost, readers have definitely noticed the change in quality of what they read on Medium. So I'm going to sneak in a Medium business update right here because it's good news. Before the boost, we were losing subscribers every month. And at our darkest moment, we'd shrunk to about 680,000 subscribers. But the boost is what turned that around. And today there are 990,000 members knocking on the door of a million members. These members pay to read writing like yours. And what we've learned is readers pay for quality and the boost is one of the ways that we've delivered them. And this many subscribers means that we're also knocking on the door of being a profitable company. So in case that's not obvious, a healthy medium is also good for writers. More subscribers mean more readers for you, more money in the partner program, and most importantly, that you can count on us. The direction we are going works, and the work we're all doing together as medium, as writers, as readers, as editors, it's, it matters. So given how well the boost works, you can count on us to keep expanding it. Over and over today, I've given examples of the incredible scale of Medium. We make 8 billion recommendations. The community has 9,000 editors. Publications span more than 30,000 topics each month. In comparison, the boost program is still relatively small. We, the way we've designed the system is to have publications act as nominators. Those nominations then go to an inter internal curation team here at Medium. And this combination of humans in the loop provides a mix of subject matter understanding and high standards. So after a piece, after a story passes through both of those steps, boosted stories go to our algorithm. And unlike most platforms, our algorithm only acts as a matchmaker, not as a judge of quality. So in our boost system right now, we have 110 publications acting as nominators. That does leave gaps. And so our internal curation team currently fills in those gaps by looking for stories that aren't in that set of publications. But long-term, and I don't wanna put exact dates on what long-term means, uh, but long-term we will, will continue expanding the number of publication editors in the boost program. That's definitely the direction we're heading in. But as a writer, this doesn't mean that you have to publish in those publications. There are lots of ways to find the right readers for your writing, and not all writing is even meant to be boosted. I certainly write plenty of silly stuff that I don't want shared across all of Medium, but that writing is how I keep my writing muscle strong. So it's about finding the right publication for the piece that you're working on right now. So far, I've talked mostly to writers, but we have to end with some words of appreciation for publication editors. You are the heartbeat of this community. Your passion for connecting smart writing to the right readers, it's admirable. And you've done this even when Medium wasn't supporting you. So before I was CEO here, I was in your shoes running publications. So I, I remember what that felt like. So now I just want to underline for you, you have our full support. We understand what you do and how important it is to the community. So if you are a publication editor, hopefully you see today as appreciation for how much you matter and that by the work we're doing today to connect more writers to you, that we've done something helpful for you. Thank you to all the editors.